मैं डॉक्टर सनातन बेहरा आई हैव डन माय एमओ और एमडी मेडिसिन करेंगे कटाक्षु और डीएम गैस्ट्रोएंटरोलॉजी फॉर मलेरिया इंस्टीट्यूट एम्स न्यू दिल्ली और तब पर है वन पोस्ट डीएम वन ईयर आई हैव पूल अफसर इन मलेरिया इंस्टीट्यूट न्यू दिल्ली तब पर मैं ऐसी जॉइन करेंगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन आज जो क्वेश्चन उठे जी हेपेटाइटिस डे वर्ल्ड हेपेटाइटिस डे क्वेश्चन उठे आम भी तो हमें जानिया दरकर व्हाट इज हेपेटाइटिस नेम व्हाट इज द कॉज मेन कारण कोन हेपेटाइटिस रो हेपेटाइटिस कोन का कारण कोन ता पे प्रिवेंशन कोन करि परिबा ए है हमरो मेन उद्देश्य हेपेटाइटिस ए हेपेटाइटिस मेन इन्फेक्शन ऑफ लिवर इज कॉल्ड हेपेटाइटिस इन्फेक्शन ऑफ लिवर हेपेटाइटिस मे बी वायरल और ने भी नॉन वायरल हमें मेनली वायरल डिस्कस करू छु कि नॉन वायरल कॉज हो छी बहुत कम वायरल कॉज हो छी मैक्सिमम वायरस कॉज भीतर रहू छी ए बी सी डी एंड ई ए और ई जोटा वाटर बोन जोटा पानी पी ले हुए एंड दिस इज सम एक्सटेंड लेस डेंजरस एंड क्यूरेबल एंड इट इज डेंजरस इन सम एक्सटेंड लाइक इन प्रेगनेंसी अदर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ वायरस इज बी और सी ट्रीटमेंट कर फ्यूचर कौन ये टीम बीसी मोड जो ट्रांसमिशन गोटे लोक भी इनफेक्शन हो रास्ता नंबर वन आईदर एटा मदर रू फिटस को आसा कहते हैं ट्रांस प्लासेंटाल इज भेरी कमन से प्रत्येक प्रेगनेट लेडी को बिफोर डेलीवरी सब प्रेगनेट लेडी हेपाटाइट बी सी स्क्रीनिंग इज कंपलसरी थ्रू आउट इंडिया इनक्लूडिंग वर्ल्ड बिकॉज़ आपण जदि जानि पारिबे मदर को हेपेटाइट बी के सी ए छि ताले आपण जदि ता ट्रीटमेंट करले एंड प्रोटेक्शन टू द चाइल्ड देले जहा द्वारा इन्फेक्शन रेट कमि जिवो ट्रांसमिशन रेट भी कमि जिवो फ्यूचर चाइल्ड आ लॉन्ग लाइफ हे पारिबो दिस इज मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट गोटेला ट्रांस प्लासेंटल माने मदर रो बेबी को आसी वन सेकंड हो छि ब्लड एंड ब्लड प्रोडक्ट जोडा कॉमनली ब्लड एंड ब्लड प्रोडक्ट रे ट्रांसमिशन हुए जो ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन कराला जो ब्लड अलरेडी इनफेक्टेड अच्छी जो द्वारा आप जानि से लोक हेपेटाइट बी सी हो सी सागे एच आई भी हो पाए कि आम एच आई भी आज डिस्कसन करूँ मेनली बी सी हो डिस्कसन करूँ ब्लड एंड ब्लड प्रडक्ट ब्लड एनी प्रडक्ट आप ब्लड डोनेसन कले आज जन जब कि आप ब्लड रिसीव करेंगे और इनफेक्टेड ब्लड ताल फोर्थ फैक्टर मोर ट्रांसमिशन थार्ड हूँ सेक्सुआल ट्रांसमिशन सेक्सुआल ट्रांसमिशन में जब हजबैंड इज इनफेक्टेड इट यू ट्रांसमिट टू वाइफ और मेल पार्टनर इज इनफेक्टेड इट यू ट्रांसमिट टू फीमेल पार्टनर वाइस वर्षा थर्ड फैक्टर इज इंजेक्शन मोड ऑफ इंजेक्शन जो गाँव गहल बहुत मेल गोटे इंजेक्शन सीरीज को दस जन कोड़े जन शह शह जन यूज कर अलरेडी इनफेक्टेड होती यहाँ गोटे कमन मोड मोड अफ इंजेक्शन थार्ड हूँ डेन्टाल प्रोसीडियर जो इनफेक्टेड मटेरियल यूज होनी हो हो सर्जरी हो जो अलरेडी कंटामेटेड हो अनदर फैक्टर हूँ इंजेक्शन मोड कमन जो यूनिवर्सल स्टेडलेजेशन प्रोसीडर में सिंगल यूज सीरीज वाला डिस्पोजेबल सीरीज जो सही कनसेप्ट डिस्पोजेबल सीरीज आसपोजेबल सीरीज निडिल भी डिस्पोज कर प्रपर वे करवा दरकार सपोज आप इनफेक्टेड हो गले इमिडियेट प्रोटेक्शन कौन ने फेडेक्ट जाना दरकार सपोज गोटे डाक्तर ड्यूटी कर गोटे नर्स ड्यूटी कि मेडिकल स्टाफ ड्यूटी कर अनोन पर्सन जानी तार कंटाक्ट हो गला इन अल्ल मोडालीटी जो मोडालीटी गोटा मुझे आपको कहली तरह इंजेक्शन में कि सेक्सुआल ट्रांसमिशन हो गल सस्पेक्ट कर टू थिंगस तीन चार जिन आप माइंड कर नंबर वन जो पेसेंट को इनफेक्शन हो तार भाइर स्टाटस कौन इनफेक्टिविटी कौन जब जानते ओके नजाणी भी जार निडल प्रिक है तार स्टाटस कौन 
जदि से लोक आगुरी इम्युनइजेसन आईदर इम्युनइजेसन फुली पार्सी से पेसेंट कह न कही पार अलरेडी इम्युनइज हो स्टाटस जना नहीं से जगार इमिडेट कौन करेंगे गोटे इम्युनइज इम्युनोग्लोबुल फर पास इम्युनिटी इमिडेट नहीं जाए फलोड बै आक्ट इम्युनिट फलोड बै आक्ट इम्युनिट मैंने से पेसेंटर आप आंटी एच वि एस टाइटर कर देखिए हाउ मच हिज प्रोटेक्ट टू दी बी इनफेक्शन इफ योर आंटी एच वि एस आंटीबडी टाइट इज मोर दैन टेन व्हिच इज इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्डाइज इंडिकेट दैट यू आर फुली इम्युनइज टू द हेपेटाइटिस बी इन्फेक्शन इवन इफ यू हैव अनदर प्रिक इट विल गिव फर्दर प्रोटेक्शन और इट विल एक्ट एज ए बूस्टर सपोज योर आंटी एच वि एस टाइट इज लेस दैन टेन द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मच यू आर इम्यून यू आर लेस इम्यून इन दैट केस यू हैव टू टेक इम्यूनोग्लोबुलिन एज ए पैसिव इम्युनिटी फॉलोड बाय फुल कोर्स ऑफ एक्टिव इम्युनिटी ऑफ थ्री इंजेक्शन व्हाट स्टैंडर्ड हेपेटाइटिस बी वैक्सीन अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट इन 0 30 एंड 180 डेज और 0 1 मंथ 6 मंथ इन इंट्रावेसुलर मोस्टली इन डेल्टा और मोस्टली इन डेल्टा यू कैन टेक देन यू आर इम्यून जो लोग हेपेटाइटिस बी हे गला अपन जान ले जो सोशल स्टिग्माटा बहुत लोग जानी ना थी जानिया दरकार यू कैन लीव नॉर्मली विद एनीबॉडी एल्स हु इज ऑलरेडी इंफेक्टेड विद हेपेटाइटिस बी doesn't matter you can eat you can play you can sleep doesn't matter but you have to the like sexual contact you have to protect it the person who is have sexual contact with either male or female he must be immunized fully with known anti hbs titer which is protective antibody third <coughs> the role of breast feeding and the role of kissing or oral contact is how much transmitting still it is controversial Ideally, it should not be baby. Should not mother should not feed the baby, but some people are telling it's not so harmful. Till it is controversial, still it is running. But I ideally it should prevent it. Then another question: Jhara loko se khai ba, rohi ba, mili ba, bossi ba, kichhi farad nahi except physical contact. A jo log abe daddy bhiye gala he must know he should not transmit it. Don't he should not donate his blood to anybody else. This must. He must tell others I am hepatitis B positive. Third, the any surgical procedure or any injection used to him, he should not be used to other fellows. And in higher center in metro city, including foreign countries, they have isolated few. Suppose ICU, ICU, ICU is isolated three four categories. Those who are hepatitis B infected, they are in one group. There will be one room. Those who are hepatitis C, those who are HIV, they are separate. They cannot have a same same ICU sharing. They will stay in ICU all facilities with better protection measures. But they will get all. Not that they will segregate. They will stay, but in isolated fashion. Then, suppose hepatitis B is uh, suppose you are accidentally you have to blood donate. Could you just accidentally take hepatitis B? Then you are going to call for it. Previously, upon which you are, upon the symptom, which is not, you don't have any symptom at all. Accidentally, you detected to have already B positive as a carrier during blood donation or during any going to foreign for any visa, visa or other views, medical views. Then you or any job during job they will test you have already B positive. Then you see that you have to do. In that case, you are not. Infected, then you have to investigate. Then you show your doctor or gastroenterologist what to do. In that case, we are doing liver function test, ultrasonography, and other things, panels of tests. Then from that we will know whether you are infected, non-infected, whether you are healthy carrier or only carrier, whether you need treatment or do not need treatment. That will be decided by any gastroenterologist at any place. It's not a big issue. But you should have a regular follow-up every six months to the follow to whom you are showing regularly. Then you don't know your wife status. Then immediately you do your family screening. Family screening means your children and your wife. This is for your family. So if you want to go retrospectively to do your generation, then you go back, examine your father, Ali H B S G, as well as your brother, sister. You see how many of them are infected. If they are positive and you are also one of them, you are also positive. Then question arises: Is it transmitted from your mother? Suppose all of you were negative and you are only positive. Then question arises: What is the rate of transmission to your kids as well as your wife? 
then you don't worry it. I cannot have a physical contact with my wife. This is not an issue. The question is, you, you do an antibody titer or you do an HBSG titer and see whether your wife is infected or non-infected. If it is infected, if it is negative, you vaccinate your wife. It doesn't matter. Once it is vaccinated with a full three course of injection, you can have a good physical contact. It doesn't matter. Then you see your children. Any one of them is negative. If any one of them is positive, to follow same rule what is followed to you and then if they are negative they can have a good full course of vaccination with regular follow-up with booster dose. Uh, sir, uh, uh, we know so many things about this hepatitis, uh, how to protect if I have already infected what to do. So, sir, uh, it is uh, one another curious uh, curiosity from our side. So why you are giving so emphasis to uh, treat this? Hepatitis B and C positive. Then question arises: If percent percent is hepatitis B positive, what will happen throughout his life? The three issues: whether you have got your infection from your mother, transplacental; whether you got your infection during adulthood. Those who are got infection during transplacental, they are more dangerous. Within 20, within second or third decade, they will develop chronic liver disease, otherwise called cirrhosis of liver, and that cirrhosis will progress gradually day by day, lead to liver failure and death. Then some of them will also develop liver cancer, which is called SCC, hepatosalvular carcinoma. Most common cause in India is hepatitis B. Most common cause of liver cell cancer, it consists of over 1 to 4 percent throughout the world, of throughout all, including in, compared to the malignancy. Hepatosalvular malignancy is 1 to 4 percent throughout the world. Out of them, most common cause in India is hepatitis B followed by C. In Western it is reverse, C is more than B because they have C more than B. If C is infected, then the patient have similar course may have in second and third decade after infection may they develop cirrhosis of liver, may develop liver cancer and other stigma doubts in hepatitis C. Then uh, sir, is there a cure for hepatitis B and C? Once hepatitis B is positive, in the lifelong it will be positive. We cannot make it negative. Because it is digitacellular pathogen, because of CC, CC DNA, circular compact DNA, they will inside the DNA. Though you can suppress virus replication and infectivity, but you cannot cure it in, in case of hepatitis B. But in case of hepatitis C, then you have to see it is a curable disease. In some extent, in the sense, you have to see what is the status of the patient, in which status you see that patient. You already chronic liver disease or you only carry air? Mm. Whether he has other comorbidity factor or not, like hypothyroid, like diabetes, severe mm. obesity, other comorbid factor that may hamper the liver. He do not have any comorbid factor but only have hepatitis and healthy, you can cure it. The treatment modality will vary according to your genotyping. Mm. Sir, we have uh, already so many discussion, uh, so we would like to know another two important things from your side. Sir, what should be, what should hepatitis B and hepatitis C infected person be advised to be to do protect their liver from further harm? Uh, further harm you can prevent if hepatitis B, then you treat for antiviral drugs. So many antiviral drugs are available with different companies. And hepatitis C you can treat now previously. Uh, Injection are available, interferon injection including in Now oral drug has been started, the efficacy is still not 100% proven but under trial. Subsequently it will be established for hepatitis C. And another issue is that uh, though what will happen? Now the alcohol incidence, intake of alcohol is very high. For exact percentage, I cannot tell around 70, 60, 70% people are taking alcohol in different grades. My water severe rates. If these people take alcohol, what will happen? Once your hepatitis B infected and you are taking alcohol, more chance of cirrhosis, decompensation, or chronic liver disease. Similar to C, hepatitis C also. Because both are hepatotoxic and both will damage liver. In that sense, you should prevent intake of alcohol. And then another question the people generally ask in so many meetings. People are taking alcohol, or alcohol you will not develop liver disease. Why? He rickshaw people are taking alcohol for since child used to around 60 years and pulling rickshaw without any liver disease. Though he is a massacre or lean thin build, 
for the young man who is taking alcohol for 5 to 10 years, in 35 to 40 years, he has a chronic liver disease and he is dying within 45. So, what is the cause? This is a very common question. <coughs> then, you have to see if the patient is taking alcohol, what is his previous status? Previous status means whether he is hepatitis B infected, whether he is hepatitis C infected, whether he is already diabetic, whether he is already very obese, other associated. Other comorbid factor like hypothyroid or the autoimmune disease, you should inquire about this. And another question the genetic factor. Some people are, have the alcoholic dehydrogenase enzyme related genetic factors, they are more prone to chronic liver disease. Hepatitis B and C infected person be restricted from working in certain occupation or other settings. Those who are hepatitis B or C. They can work in every place, but question is whether they have a chronic liver disease or not. If they have only career and his normal function, he can work at any place. Except some professional like medical situation where he should not, because possibility of like blood bank, other pressure there, though absolutely there is no restriction, but there is some problem. But they can do a normal life, unless until they have chronic liver disease. Once they have chronic liver disease, they cannot work. Chronic liver disease in the sense he should not work in fine work like driving, swimming, these are the fine works or any finer technical work he cannot do. Advice to this. Thank you very much.